Hi there, my name is Mike and you always hear me say be more better, body, mind and spirit. So this towel on my shoulder tells you this is going to be another cooking video or more importantly one about eating because you know I didn't get this body by eating one lousy hot dog on a bun. Right now I got a problem. I don't have any more buns. So I'm going to make this New York delicacy my way. A pancake. Yeah, a pancake. You heard that right. I'm going to use this entire bag. You can use less if you'd like. If you don't know, this stuff is fermented. Grapes become wine, grain beer, cabbage, sauerkraut. Rinse it in cold water. It's really sour, so it can last a long time without spoiling. Important when there was no refrigeration. Squish it to get the water out and then dice it. Cut it this way and then cross cut. This isn't brain surgery. By the way, my Polish American relatives know I'm making fushki, sauerkraut pancakes. They're a Lemko dish from the Biesiedi Mountains in Southeast Poland towards Slovakia and Ukraine, about where sauerkraut was born. The region also has the city of Przemysl. Never heard of it? It was Europe's third largest fortress. 150,000 men, 44 forts, a 28 mile circle of steel and concrete that suffered the longest siege of World War I. Heroism, bloodshed, starvation, and ethnic cleansing. The Stalingrad of World War I. Another, by the way, the name Liberty Cabbage arose in World War I to avoid eating German food even though sauerkraut is not German. Cooking tip. Every cook knows Murphy's Law. Bread with jelly always falls jelly side down. So what's Cole's Law, huh? Hmm? It's thinly sliced cabbage. <laughs> I'm also going to make a second kind of fushki. Remember? Hot dogs, remember? I'll dice and fry them. I don't know if I'm really the first to do this in a thousand years though. Why are they called hot dogs? Sausage might be the oldest processed food. It's mentioned in Homer's Odyssey, 900 BC. Hope you never eat one that old. 1500 years later, Vienna, spelled W-I-E-N in German, had Wieners. Cologne, Germany claims the Frank, but so does Frankfurt. They celebrated its 500th birthday in 1987. Germans sometimes call them little dog sausages, long and skinny like a Datsund, or maybe because they had phyto meat inside them sometimes. <laughs> Yuck. In the 1860s, some guy sold them from a push cart in New York's Bowery. From there, they went to Coney Island's first dog grill. It sold 3,684 Datsun sausages in 1871. It's amazing they know that number. Fast forward to July 4th, 2020. Champion, competitive food eater, Joey Chestnut, 875 with buns in 10 minutes. What a profession. Guess someone has to do it. I hope he enjoyed gaining the 24 pounds. They made it to the St. Louis World's Fair, then to baseball stadiums. One legend had New York Polo Grounds vendors hawking hot dogs on a cold 1901 day. Get your red hot dots and sausages. Supposedly, a sports cartoonist, Tad Dorgan, drew barking Datsun sausages inside rolls, except he wasn't sure how to spell Datsun. So he wrote hot dog. Since then, they've gone worldwide. A bun is made from flour, milk, and an egg. That's also what goes into a pancake. 
to make them anything light and fluffy you put in air. That's what you put in when you whisk eggs. You can also add yeast or baking soda. Cooking is more art than science. Baking is about exactly following the recipe. I'm going to use two cups of flour, one and a half of milk, and two eggs. Add more to get the right thickness if you think it needs it. Mix the batter really well. Spoon it onto a hot frying pan that has a little oil. Medium flame. Squish it down. That's a technical term. Two, three minutes on each side till golden brown. Only one flip. Another cooking hint. Change the flavor. Add spices in advance or afterwards, like salt and pepper, mustard or ketchup. Try to remember what you did and make the next batch differently. Surprise yourself to make sure it won't kill you. Get someone else to eat anything you make for the first time. Surprise them. Make a pile of them, but and there's always a but. You gotta eat one while cooking. Never trust a skinny cook. Mmm. A last cooking hint. Clean the stove afterwards, or at least every 10 years. Alas, by the way, there are people in need, so do something about them, including sharing a meal with someone who shut in. They are hungry for human contact, including you, on the other end of the phone during a meal. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking, for being even more better when you remember that we are all connected, especially through food, and then remind someone else of how they're connected. Tell us what you think of the dish, no matter how you made it, and of the lesson, no matter how you lived it. Maybe give us a hand with a gold soup recipe. I make it with 24 carrots. And now a shout out to Ellie, who's 16 months old. She lives nearby. Her parents let her eat a fushka that I made, and she loved it. They gave her two more. Just goes to show you, Ellie has deep Polish connections inside her. No, no! Eggs first, whisk them, eggs first! Darn! <laughs> Darn! This has been a pleasure, really has. Until the next one, bye now. Thank you.